What are your your thoughts around dating and sex? Um, it depends on the woman. Now, I teach because I have women that are abstinent and I have women that are not. I always tell women um, that believe sex is the thing that if they hold out on, it's going to get the ring. I'm like, child, women have been having sex every day and it's always weddings going on around here in Atlanta. (laughs) I said, so that's not the thing. But Mm -hmm. if they do come to me saying, when should I have sex? I say, you don't have sex with a man until he's emotionally connected to you. Mm. Because once you do it prior you ain't going to too much hear from him too much because there's no reason for him to be around. You have you have not become an asset in his life and to his emotions. And how do you recognize that you've tapped into his emotions? You know. You know. I it, wouldn't it, know. It, it's just I mean women as, as a woman as a woman you know when he when he is attentive to you, when he cares about your well-being not just your body. When he wants to talk to you, oh, honey, what do you think I should do about this? When he starts including you in the wheeze, when he starts opening up and being vulnerable with you, you're getting into that emotional space. But women, a lot of them be trying to do it the other way around. It's mm-hmm. like, you, you, but you gave him some, girl. Now, Miss April, but he's not calling no more. Why would he? <laughs> he doesn't have a reason to because you have not become. It's 12 o'clock at night. Right? Yeah, it's right. <laughs> you have not become the breath that he breathes. So, but at the same time, there are women, I guess, women have needs, right? Yeah, yeah, yes I mean, and no. I mean, it all, yes de- and no. it, it all depends, right? Uh, and, you know, Bobby and I, we were having this conversation. Was you on our conversation last night? Mm-hmm. We were having this conversation as well. And we talked about energy exchanges. And I was telling him, I said, people don't realize when you're sleeping with a bunch of random people, you don't know what they're dealing with that's being transferred over to you. And I told him, I said, years ago, I was dealing with this guy and I didn't want a relationship or anything, neither did he. So we had our little thing going. But I would wonder every time I would sleep with him for five to seven days, I was always in the fetal position, crying and just down and depressed. I didn't know he was dealing with that. So what? even though we were, it was protected sex and all of that, it was the energy exchange that he had that transferred over to me. Now I'm feeling what he's feeling because I wasn't depressed and low self-esteem or, or none of that at the time. So I'm feeling that. So I'm very cautious. Like I, we don't, yeah, we don't play them type games because it's not just a, a act for me. It's I need to know what you're dealing with in your life. I need to know your traumas because your traumas, you're going to release that onto me. Or into you. Into me, yeah. So I, yeah, I don't, I I don't play them games like that, no. When you put it like that, uh, that's scary. It is. It is. No, people aren't looking at it like that. They're looking at it, oh, girl, I got needs. Yeah, but what is he depositing into you? Whether it's protected or not, sex is a very intimate act. I remember at 19, I was talking to a guy and he said, did you know? And he was having smoking weed. He was high as my grandfather would say a Georgia pine. (laughs) And he said, "Um, did you know the closest thing you can do to a person? I said, what's that? He said, the closest thing you can do is be inside them. And that stuck with me. He said, when you lay down with somebody, you let a man, he's literally going inside of your body. And from that point, I th- he was 19 and I was 16 or 17. And that stuck with me because I had never thought about it like that because it was just like, oh, everybody is, you, you da- back then it was that, you down with OPP, you know, back then. <laughs> so that was something that really resonated with me. And I always took that with me. And then I started realizing you can't sleep with people like that. Not, it's because it's, it's more than just an act and I have an itch. And a lot of men, they don't even realize that and wondering why they're having all of these issues with women, how many women have you slept with that you knew nothing about her background? You knew nothing mm-hmm. about what she was dealing with, her traumas and everything. You knew nothing about her other than she looked good and she got a big booty and it was nice looking. That's it. And now you're wondering why you feeling all these different type of emotions and things that you've never felt before because you have all of these people, the energy from all of these different people connected to you. So I'm very cautious and I teach that if you're going to do this, wait till you're emotionally connected to him because you would have had time to vet him. Got you. And I guess so there there is a little bit of validity to like the waiting or the 90 days or whatever, but it's not just about the day. It's just there needs to be some time until you get get to know and understand the real them. 
Yes. And th- so, yeah, that you like the 90 day, that's just a time period. Yeah. But if you're not vetting and asking the proper questions and still vetting the proper in time in those 90 days, none of that matters. You can give it to them on a 90th day and 91st day. You will never hear from that joke right. again. Because <laughs> y'all know y'all know how to wait us out. 